InkProducts.com has now released its new Executive Series 3 Continuous Ink System for Canon's new IX6820 wide format printer. Let me show you how to install it. You're not going to have to cut the printer. You don't have to do anything to the printer. Series 3 has our double loop hose bracket that helps control pressure to the print head. No need to use backflow dampers, and by the way, on the newer print heads, backflow dampers can cause problems, so we don't use them. So we designed a little looping system, goes right on the side, you have your ink shut off, all your parts and pieces will come with our Executive Series 3. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Canon cartridges out and then install our continuous ink system. Now I removed the Canon cartridges and I'm going to reach behind the printer and unplug it because I'm going to have to do some hose travel. So that's where I want it. You're going to get a main hose bracket. I'm going to show you you're going to peel and stick it. It's going to go, it's going to line up right with the black, the BK. You're going to, you're going to put it right to the edge of the back like that. That's going to give you your alignment for the hose bracket. And there'll be another one that'll go over here. So I'm going to peel and stick that one in. But first I'm going to put the CIS cartridges in. Make sure you have a, some paper towels handy because sometimes you'll get some ink on your fingers or on the printer. Okay, with our CIS system we give you the print head gaskets. Sometimes you need to use them, sometimes you don't need to use them. The only way I know is if I watch the ink in the hose run back to the ink tank, then I need to put the gaskets in. So you can just place them down in there. And they only go a certain way. They're just going to stay in there. I'm going to put some paper towels down. Make sure the plugs are in the tank. You know, don't uh, open up any plugs, and then I'm going to rock it. This is to remove any ink that got into that isobaric chamber when we shipped it. Or if you pull out both plugs, sometimes you have to do this. Okay? Just go back and forth a couple times. Okay. Now you can lay the cartridges face down on the paper towel. Now there's a rubber band. You can take that rubber band off and then I'm going to show you how to take all the orange clips off at the same time. That's why we put this little piece of tape here. Makes it a lot easier than trying to do one at a time. Okay, there's a the rubber band. Got that off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclick the front one, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm going to take the cartridges and push the orange clips towards me. They're unclipped. Just hear them unlock. Okay, now there. That one came off. That's another one. Then I just slide them to the back. See how I'm pushing this? Look at this. See? Now they'll all come off. Now here's where you might get some ink on your fingers. So flip them over and set them down in. Line them up with the color they're supposed to be lined up with. Take your time here. Don't be in a rush. Just take your time. Then I'm going to line them all up and I'm not going to click them in. I'm just going to get them all lined up in the correct slot. Okay, now I've got them lined up. I want to push the back in. Make sure that's down. That's critical. If you don't, it'll pop up and then it'll lock the cartridges up on you. So that's why I said, take your time. So I get it on an angle going in. I should hear it click in. Get it in there. Make sure you got it in tight up front. And then you can click it in. Get it in. Take your time. They're all clicking in. Okay, that's how I did it. 
Now we're going to take and we're going to push the whole assembly all the way over to the left. All the way over. As far as it'll go. Let out some hose. There. I'll line it up. Now I'm going to put that hose bracket. I'm going to line that hose bracket up with the BK, the black, all the way flush to the back here. Peel and stick it just like that. Not too far forward, but I'm going to line it up to the back end. You'll see what I'm talking about right here. Right like that. Right over the BK. Peel and stick it. And I just peel the main bracket, stuck it right down, made sure my hose was not tangled, because I'm going to put another hose bracket right here. But now I'm going to slip the hose into this bracket. And then we'll do some final hose adjustments. Try to push it back as far as you can. Now we'll get the other hose bracket and I'll place it in line with the hose. Like that. Just like that. So you're going to peel and stick it down right about, oh, right about here. I want to point this out. I already balanced it, but I forgot to show you previously in the video. You want to shut off the ink by squeezing this little hose shut off. That'll stop the ink from flowing. So when you're putting it in, you're not going to get ink dripping all over. But now that it's in, this is critical. you got to open it up. That's the way you do it. Now the other thing I'm going to do, we're going to do hose travel. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to have this come out and see if it goes all the way over to the right. If there's a little bit too much slack, pull back on this, take out the slack. And then you're going to go back and forth to make sure the hose travels without any binding. Then I'm going to in the kit, we're going to give you a piece of felt like this. You're going to peel and stick it. That will protect the hose when it goes under this edge here, so it won't um, scrape it. So you want to put that on. Okay, I got that hose protectant strip on. Now I can move the hose back and forth to see how it's going to flow. That looks good. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. That should do it. Push it all the way over to the right. Now go to the ink tank and open up the little air plugs. Down there we have balanced the isobaric chamber and we're going to open up the plugs in the back. The only time you open up the front plugs is when you're going to refill the bottles. So you close the little one, open the big one. They can't be opened at the same time, otherwise all the ink will leak into the isobaric chamber. So if you don't want to get ink on your fingers, because you never know, in shipping, sometimes a little pressure builds up and you might get ink on your fingers, use a paper towel, grab it and open it up. They have to be open for the system to work. There. Close it, push it against the side. Okay, when the lid shuts, on top of the lid, there's a little tab that goes into the interlock switch. So the printer thinks the, or knows that the top cover is closed. Well, we're going to give you a jumper like this, a little green jumper. Push that in. That's it. Stays like that. Then you'll be able to close the cover and print. The reason why the cover is going to remain open a little bit is so the hose can travel freely without getting bound up. If you drop the lid all the way, they have a tendency to catch up and bind. So that's why we don't set up the CIS like that. Now we're going to go plug it in. 
and we opened up the air vent plugs. We've got our interlock in. Now we'll just go plug it in. Turn it on. We'll start to move. You keep an eye on it just to make sure you have everything lined up properly and it's not catching or snagging. And like I said, you save these. You can put them all on. These are the orange clips, the storage clips. And by using the tape, they all come off in, in, a, in a group. Now, again, you can close the lid, but I'm leaving it open just so you can see it go back and forth. Okay, I've completed the install. I run my nozzle check, and they all look good. And now I'm printing something out. I'm just watching it go back and forth to make sure. Looks good. Whenever I print on any printer, I always use the best setting, like on cannons I use high, plain paper high. We find out that you have to clean less, and it just works. It keeps the print head a lot cooler, and it lasts a lot longer. And you're not using more ink. You're actually using less ink. Because the more times you have to clean a print head, the more ink you're going to waste. That's how simple it was to hook up our continuous ink system for the Canon IX 6820.